We are beginning tonight with an emergency breach along the San Lorenzo River to try and stop flooding. Even though water levels have continued to drop from lack of rain, it is creating a baffling problem. It is still flooding nearby homes and businesses. Action News reporter Phil Gomez joins us live to explain in tonight's top. Story. Well, Aaron, behind me you can see that work crews are starting to clear clear up or put put more sand where the uh, breach area was. They're covering it up right now. That's the area that they were working on earlier today. This is an ongoing problem, even though it just happens on occasion. A sandbar is built up along the mouth of the, the river, and when it can't drain into the ocean, it causes flooding to homes and businesses. It's obviously very dry on Walnut and Pacific Avenues, but below the street level, some of these businesses are flooding. It can be traced to the stagnant waters of the San Lorenzo River. Three businesses, Sawaf, Burdells, and Synergy, share a basement. And when the river backs up, they've got to break out the pumps. Say a lot of businesses or older buildings downtown that have basements don't actually have concrete floors. They have muddy dirt floors and that sort of thing. It's a big, it's a bigger problem for them. But it's it's a real problem if the pumps are pumps are not functioning. It's going. Going. Oddly enough, the drought is to blame for the water intrusion. Without rainfall, the river isn't having the flows it needs, so a sandbar has built up dividing the river from the ocean. Its current level is seven feet. They want to get it down to a more manageable four feet. And so we have to punch out because there's too much pressure on the levees. Water's going under the levees up into the nearby areas. The city has also put up block nets to prevent the federally protected steelhead trout and tidewater gobies from going out in the ocean during this effort. And we're not allowed to take them. We can't harm them or harass them or kill them. So we want to protect them as best we can and take them further upstream and hopefully they'll be happy upstream once this is all sealed off and done. The boardwalk also had to take measures to pump out its basement from flooding. In addition, the Seaside Company is also relieved that a huge stagnant pool of seawater will also disappear when the breaching is completed. Lessening the impacts of that water is very significant and very helpful, not only to the boardwalk, but to visitors of the beach and Santa Cruz as well. Now, if you're wondering why the city is pumping out water when we're in the middle of a drought, well, rest assured, they're only moving brackish water. That's river water that's mixed with salt water, so it's not good for drinking, and it's certainly not good for doing your lawn or anything like that for any landscaping. Aaron? All right, thank you, Phil. City is looking into a long-term solution, but the results are not expected anytime soon. The overall cost for the emergency breaching today stands at about $30,000.